Hey, it's Kim. Welcome back to KCDT. Today I'm going to show you how I shoot my own selfies using an iPhone and editing with a couple of apps on the iPhone. Let's look at the setup. So my iPhone is set up on a tripod stand here. That is my backdrop right there. This is actually an abandoned building. I do not see a no trespassing sign, so I think I am okay here. And I'll be standing over there somewhere. And I am using the front facing camera so I can see myself. On my camera app, I am going to switch it to video. And the settings up here, I'm going to switch it to 60 frames per second. And then just press record and you're going to move, 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 move. Like I said, we're going to move, move, move. So once we press record, we're moving. We don't stop unless you're thinking about your next pose, which is what I was doing a lot. <laughs> and then you're gonna play back the video and you're gonna pause where you think is gonna be your favorite shot. And then you're gonna screenshot it and I'll show you in a minute. Let's take a look at our footage. So we're gonna press play and we're gonna pause. It's just easier to scroll when the video is paused because once you stop where you want your shot, it won't continue playing, it's already paused. So I'm just gonna scroll through the footage with my finger. And I'm walking back and forth here. If you want a good walking shot, like a fake walking shot, step forward and rock back and forth. I like this shot, so I'm gonna screenshot it. And I'm gonna see what else I like. I like this one. On to the next one. Please excuse my hair. It, it got wet in the rain and I really didn't care to do anything else to it. Sometimes fake smiles can give you the cutest shots. Okay, now I'm going to open up an app called Lensa. And this is what I use to edit my photos. So I'm gonna select all the ones that I wanna edit from my screenshot. And I'm gonna choose the first one that I wanna edit, which is this one. Okay, so the first thing I do here is I'm going to click on Magic Correction. Lensa is going to correct your photo. You can always adjust it if you don't like what Lensa recommends. I'm going to turn off the blur background because I want my umbrella to be shown clearly. I can use the blur background sometimes, but this photo, we won't do that. You can also retouch your face. You can make it smoother and brighter. I'm not going to do too much here. Um, and there's also a deep retouch. If you want to go deeper with your retouch, there's a neck retouch. Uh, you don't see much of my neck here. And eye bags. That is a wonderful tool. Trust me, it's worked on some of my pictures. Eyelashes, you can make them thicker if you forgot your mascara. Eye contrast. So you're going to see when I swipe right, it gets brighter. And when I swipe left, 
it's not as bright. So maybe we want it to be just a little bright. Eyebrows, when I swipe right, it gets darker. Left, it's just lighter and lighter. But I think I'm gonna give it some color here. Lip colors, if you forgot your lipstick, hey, Lenza's got you. But I think I'll leave it the way it is. Cheekbones, I don't think I've ever played with this, but I am assuming it gives you some cheekbones. <laughs> and then eye size, it didn't do much to my eyes. I guess it can't read my eyes in this picture, but that's okay. I like my eye size, it's fine. My nose is fine, my cheeks are fine. My lip size, I am okay with. The other cool thing you can do here is you can change your hair color. That purple one's kind of nice. Maybe that. Hey, I can look like Billie Eilish. You can also adjust the intensity of the color. But honestly, I think I like my original color. So we'll just flip back to that. There we go. Much better. Your next tab is background. So we were playing with the blur background earlier, but now you can give it a bokeh effect. I am not a huge fan of this at all. It's just... What is this? It's no. But if you like it, hey, do you. You can also change the uh, blur mode. But since I'm not using a blur background, we're just gonna skip all this. Next tab is adjust. So if Lenza can read that there's a foreground and a background, you can adjust your foreground and background. So if you are the foreground and you need to be brighter, you can certainly do that here, and Lenza does a good job at that. Next tab, filters. There are lots of filters to choose from even a few black and white ones. Now, once you choose a filter, you can adjust your intensity as well. So you can make it more intense or less intense. I don't wanna to change too much with this photo. I like the color the way it is, but I'm gonna give it a filter and adjust the intensity just a little bit. So let's see, which one do I like? I think I like this one. So let me adjust the intensity. Just one a little bit. I like that. Okay, next tab. Borders. If you care for borders, hey, they got it. I'm just gonna skip this one. Now I'm going to crop the picture because I have borders at the top and the bottom from the screenshot. I think I'm just gonna crop it right here. And then save. Okay, let's do another photo real quick. Let's do the walking one. This one did not detect a face because I am not actually looking at the camera. Therefore, I can't adjust the background. I can't make it blurry. We're moving on to a different app. This one's called RNI Films. Now it will save your last edit so if you upload another photo, if you want it to have the same filter, you can just click Use Last Edit. There are different categories of filters. You have Vintage, Negative, Slide, Instant, and Black and White. I'm gonna go back to Slide, and I'm gonna choose this one and I'm going to adjust it. Okay. 
and I'm gonna crop it. Thanks so much for watching. Thumbs up if you want to see more content like this. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.